Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate, JJ. Man, this is the third time I've recorded this introduction. I'm having all sorts of problems with my computer. Uh, let me see if I can remember what I need to tell you. So, uh, in this video today, we're going to be learning how to use LT Spice, which is software for doing um, spice simulations of electronic circuits. Um, I'll be running uh, my copy of LT Spice on Debian in KDE, so that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm still working my way through uh, the Sensor Robot 20. Uh, I'm up to project number 9. I've been working on that for a while now. <laughs> um, uh, I have done my uh, LT Spice, my first LT Spice uh, circuit based on this uh, project. Um, <coughs> But uh, I'm going to uh, release the projects independently of the LT Spice. So we'll do that, uh, our learning Spice Together project. We'll do that separate to the Maxitronics kits that we're working through at the moment. I've got 11 more projects to do on the Sensor Robot 20, which we're calling the 20 in 1. I'm going to do those 11 projects just the way I have been doing them. Uh, but when we finish the the 20 in 1 and move on to the 30 in 1 at that point I'll, I'll start doing the um, uh, the LT spy simulations of the circuits so that's something that will will take on in the future uh, I haven't heard back from PCBWay yet about whether they'll sponsor the the, uh, the circuit boards I, I am thinking that when we go into the 30 in 1 and we start our LT spy simulations that in addition to the spice simulation, we'll do uh, a build of the circuit in KiCad, um, and then uh, we can use that to generate the gerber files, send the gerber files to PCBWay, have the printed circuit boards made, and then shipped over, and then we'll sit here and we can actually make the circuits for real uh, on the bench. And I'm clearing up some space up the back here. Uh, you can see kind of a, a spot developing. That's for another component, a set of component drawers, 33 component drawers, um, which I can keep the, the bits and pieces I need for building the actual circuits. Um, so uh, that's kind of planned for the future. It, it'll probably be a couple of months before we're ready to take that on. Uh, we've still got 11 projects to do in the 20 in 1. Um, I'm just going to keep doing those the way I have been doing them uh, without the spice simulations. But this video is me learning how to use LT Spice for the first time. At the end of the video, we prepare a question for the beginners forum on the EV blog forum and we're asking over there about how to test a CDS cell in an LT spice simulation. So we probably want some function to vary the resistance to simulate the presence of light on the CDS cell. Um, I don't know how to do that yet, so hopefully some people can help me. Uh, it might actually be a bit of an advanced question for the beginners forum, so maybe I won't get very much help there, but let's find out. So I've asked the question, um, in this video, uh, we just we just draw up the schematic. We don't test the schematic. In a future video, we will test the schematic. I'll call that part two. Um, so this is part one. If you want to see part two, don't forget to subscribe. Um, so in this video, it's just me learning how to use LT Spice. That's what we're going to be seeing now. Um, and uh, stand by for all of your regular scheduled features coming up soon in the future in new videos. Um, of course, I have to do the... Uh, uh, the potentiometer. I'm making a MIDI synthesizer with some of my friends from IRC. We're working on the uh, on a on a implementation of a MIDI device um, using, in my case, the Arduino Uno. And uh, I just need to create a little um, uh, uh, volume control for my piezo buzzer so that it's not so noisy uh, as I develop it in the room here and I don't disturb my uh, my <laughs> my family. So, um, I think that's everything you need to know. Hopefully this time the video recorded properly. Um, uh, enjoy watching me learn about LT Spice, um, and I'll, I'll catch you again soon. So we're just going to try and uh, <coughs> build this schematic down the bottom here um, uh, in uh, uh, LT Spice. This is uh, LT Spice uh, 2411. I believe the 24 is for the year, it's the current year. Um, it says here, copyright 2024, starting back in 1998. 
Now I don't have much experience with this uh, yet, um, so I've obviously uh, been messing around there a bit. We're going to have a new uh, schematic, um, and uh, let's save this as. Oh, there we go. Look, I've already got one for Maxitronics. That's what I'm going to be working on now. So let's have a look. Let's open that. Uh, close this. And uh, let's open Maxitronics. Uh, there we go. So uh, I've obviously put um, something in here. Uh, I uh, I don't know how to get the the properties. Uh, if I right click on it, okay, it says capacitor. Capacitor. I want to add. Let's pick uh, a symbol. I think that's the symbol. There we go. And we go into um, miscellaneous and pick this guy, Xtel. So we'll place that there. Oh, there we go. So they're the same. And then if we right click on this, there we go. So we can set the capacitance and the equivalent series resistance and rah rah rah. Okay, fine. So I'm just going to delete that and then I'm going to have a look at that. So we've put this in the capacitance is 25 nanofarads, equivalent series resistance 500 ohms, and we've got the uh, equivalent series inductance as 120 millihenries. Ah. And it says select capacitor. And I suppose we don't really want to do that, do we? All right, well, fair enough. So let's assume that's right. Um, and let's just go ahead and see if we can make that whole circuit. So we're going to need to place some resistors, which are here. OK, so we're going to have oh, uh, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then that guy. I want to move him. How do I just uh, select here? Oh. Alright, well, I want to select, but I'm not sure how to do it. What's this? Duplicate. Move. Move. There we go. Alright. <sighs> and, uh, I don't, I don't suppose we really need the switch, do we? So can we add power? We'll add power over here and then now uh, we've got one two three four five six transistors so let's try transistors now these are uh, uh, NPN so let's pick NPN there we go all right, now we're going to want one, uh, I pressed R, I thought that would rotate, but it selected resistors, maybe it's control R, yeah that seemed to work, didn't it? And what about uh, mirror. Uh, uh, 
control E for mirror. So if we press control E, <sighs> control E, there we go. do is just cancel this and if I press backspace I should be able to delete delete <clears throat> now if we add the components again npn and then we go uh, control E that's Q1 and that's Q2 and that's Q3, and then Q4, and then Q5, and then Q6. All right. Now we're going to need to put in some uh, capacitors. So uh, where's our caps? They're up here. We're going to put a, oh, there's a couple of resistors we didn't do yet. So we've got one, two, three, and then there's a capacitor here. Okay. And then uh, a capacitor here and a capacitor here. <coughs> um, and then we've got a few more resistors, don't we? So uh, let's add those. We've got a resistor here, which is the variable resistor. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, I want to can ma make that a, a variable resistor. Mm, I don't know. I'm just going to make that two resistors. So let's just add another resistor there. All right. And then the CDS cell is also a resistor. And there's a resistor above Q1. Uh, rotate it there. All right. So now let's join all the bits and pieces together. So that'll be wires and wire. <coughs> Is it possible to uh, to just align everything? <sighs> Edit. Uh, it'd be good if we could just somehow align tops. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Now to move, how do we go into move mode? We just press M. So if we press M, M, click there. There we go. Okay, getting the hang of it. <sighs> All right. Well, let's put in some wires. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's no good. I move that up one. Oh, I didn't connect. Let's delete that wire. I move this. And we'll delete that as well. And then we'll add it back in. So we're going to connect you to there and there. Okay, across we go. Now if we move that it doesn't stay uh, connected. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? Hmm. This one's our CDS cell.
I'm just gonna take a break. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just want to run LT Spice again, and uh, just confirming this is the 2024 version, and it is. You can tell by the background, but I'm still getting used to this. Uh, now I'm working on Maxitronics 20 and 1. Now this is really the first uh, uh, one I've ever done. Um, uh, let me uh, also just bring up the... Uh, uh, the web page. Now... Well... I'm just going to duck over to uh, my other computer over here. And I'm going to go there. And then I'm just going to go... Um, uh, add folder. X for... And then up there. And sync now and sync now and there it is okay good so uh, <clears throat> down the bottom here is the circuit that we're building and uh, over here um, is the LT spice uh, for this circuit scroll it back a bit alright now uh, we might as well just keep connecting wires so uh, we got uh, this guy to there and this guy to there now I don't know how to test this circuit I, I probably have to vary the resistance on R12 um, which is the, the uh, CDS cell uh, or maybe I need to pulse it, and I'm not sure what I should set R10 and R11 to. So yes, I am uh, very uh, confused at the moment about um, how I'm going to even test this circuit. I just don't know. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll 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 finish drawing up the circuit with you now, and then. Um, uh, oh, I just want to uh, let's press M for move. Yep, that's good. Okay, we'll go back to our lines. So this is uh, Q1. And uh, it's not quite the same as the thing, but it'll probably do. Now that capacitor need a bit more room so uh, let's move the capacitor and let's just get rid of that line there okay and then we'll move this guy again where do we want him just maybe there and we'll move that guy across there as well Now there is some way to do angles, um, and I forget what it is. Uh, just looking on my notes here. I believe there is a button that you can press to go angular with your uh, wiring uh, but I'm not seeing it I'll dr draw wire at any angle so hold control okay that's good to know so um, we want to come here yeah there we go perfect Uh, there we go. 
getting the hang of this, aren't I? All right, now this guy. Up to where there? I'm not sure. Why not? All right. Now, just need to give ourselves some space here, I think. So we'll move everything across. I suspect in time I will get much better at this. Press uh, M for move. That was my little cheat there. Uh, it's W for wire. That's good to know. Oh. Now we're missing a resistor. Is it R for resistor? It is indeed. So let's put a resistor here. And then wire. Now where does he go? They all connect there. might just figure out these other ones while I'm here, huh? So, that guy goes there, and that guy goes there, okay, and then this guy, he can come here. It's fairly good to me. More wires, so let's wire those uh, resistors in. There, and there, there, and there, there, and there. Excellent. Uh, now, how do we move? What's that? Duplicate. Move mode. M for move. Oh, that's to move a thing. I, I want to actually... Oh, there we go. You just drag it. Click and drag. That'll uh, move, move, which is what I was trying to do. They don't call it move. Move is moving components. All right. Uh, now... Well, let's put in a wire from here to here to here. And then we'll drop that guy on here as well. I'll just uh, cancel that. There we go. Wire there, there, there. 
looks pretty good. So are we missing any wires? I'm not sure. Uh, we didn't put that that switch there in, did we? We don't need that. Um, all right. Now we don't know what R10 and R11 should be. They're the variable resistors. CDS cell. We want that to change. So if we can make that a function, that'd probably be good. But I don't know how to do that. So those three resistors, we don't know what they should be set at, but these ones we do. So the resistance of that is uh, 47K. Excellent. And uh, oh. I wonder if, uh, if we use capital K. Yeah, okay. Well, they use capital K in the... Uh, uh, in the... Uh, in the, the schematic down here, so let's use capitals, huh? Do all the 1Ks. Uh, 1K, 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 10, 10, 1, 10, 10, 1, and 1. Okay, and this is 10K, so we'll do the 10Ks now. 10k and uh, 10k. <sighs> Is he 10k? No, he's 33k. All right, so we'll do uh, two 33ks. All right, are we missing any resistances? I don't think we are. Now, <clears throat> these are supposed to be um, polarized electrolytics. So let's see what we can do about that. <sighs> That's a long list. change that. I'm just going to put in the capacitance um, and I don't think it, it matters. So it's uh, 10U 10U and uh, and this guy is um, uh, 0.047U Okay. Is there any other capacitors? There is. This one's also uh, 0 0.047 yeah, is that right? I believe it is and the fact that they're not polarized I don't think really matters it's just an implementation detail uh, that matters on your schematic but it doesn't matter in the test I don't believe so have I missed any wires? I don't think I have what about up here? yeah that's connected through where it should be uh, all of those transistors get dropped down to ground. Ah, I'm pretty happy with this, so I might as well save that. Now, um, I'm going to uh, uh, screenshot this. I'll we'll make that uh, 25k and same here 25k and R12 I don't know what I'm going to do about R12 and the other thing I might do actually is just move that over here and then um, get rid of that and that and uh, put a wire in from here to here. Why not, huh? And then um, 
Let's get rid of that guy and that guy. Excellent. All right. Now, if I press print screen, we got a screen grab. That's good. Um, and what about um, that? What are we going to do with that? Okay. Okay. So let's just uh, take a screenshot. Right, save as. Uh, I want to save it as. Just uh, gonna jump over to another computer for a minute, and just dropped a little script in here Oop, I didn't mean to do that now what this will do is um, just uh, move some some files so uh, <coughs> let me just create uh, I'm going to create a new folder, create new folder, uh, 20m109, and then I'm going to move that in there, and that in there, and uh, LT Spice, what have we got? There it is. So I'm just going to copy that in there as well. And then I'm just going to file that. Is that going to work? No, it's not going to work. Ah, what am I going to do? Um, I'll just make a tab wall. Uh, so there we go. Now I'm just going to jump onto another computer here. Just going to deploy uh, those files, so just bear with me for a second. Uh, I'm going to pause this and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back, um, and I have uh, opened uh, a request on. Uh, the EV blog forum over here help with modeling CDSL in LT Spice 
So I just said, hi there, I've drawn up the schematic shown below in LT Spice, which you can download here. What I want to do is simulate light hitting the CDS cell R12. Can someone please explain to me how I go about doing that? Thanks in advance. So that's that. Now I'm going to wait for someone uh, to help me, and then I'll post part two of this video, which is where we simulate this circuit. See you soon.